There she is, my favorite superstar! What now? First off, love this energy. Tough, no nonsense, brutal. It's working. Secondly, how would you feel if I said Minneapolis, money in the bank, you, Piper Niven, in the ring, making magic happen? What's the catch? No catch. I just think we should reward a superstar who has earned a big opportunity with the big stage. Then why are you sweating? Okay, fine. You want the truth? You terrify me. These days, whenever I'm within about 20 feet of you, I just naturally and instinctively clench. So I thought maybe if you had a reason to like me, it would make it less likely that you'd take out all your inner turmoil on my outer face. Plus, you deserve it. Truly. So what do you think? Money in the bank? <laughs> I should have struck fear into your heart earlier. I want the match. Great. It'll be great. Cap is where it's at. So we're good, right? As long as you stop sniveling. I... will try. Hey, there she is. Uh, I, I want you to remember that I am just the messenger. Of what message? That due to events outside of my control that had absolutely nothing to do with me, your match here at Money in the Bank has been canceled. Don't hurt me. Why wouldn't I? I came here to break Piper Niven in a match that you personally offered me. If I'm here, I'm breaking someone, Troy. Again, not my fault. Extenuating circumstances. Since we're in her hometown of Minneapolis, Molly Holly wants to have a comeback match tonight. We couldn't say no and had to bump another match from the show. It's really, when you think about it, a geographical Minneapolis problem. Which means if you're mad, it should only be at the Earth itself. Or Molly Holly. Yeah, sure. Her too. Definitely not Troy. Just remember that in a situation like this, my hands are tied.
Don't you look awfully proud of yourself. I would have been happy to do my fighting in the ring. It wasn't my decision to take that option away. Ugh, this is exactly the kind of free-for-all indie nonsense I tried to beat out of you back in the PC. <laughs> Guess you're not as good of a mentor as you thought you were. Are you under the impression this attitude is going to help you? The only impression I'm under is that I deserve a seat at the table. And if WWE management wants to kowtow to some decrepit dinosaur parading around like she still has a place in the ring, I'm happy to show that dinosaur the door. I assure you, Molly Holly is very anxious to show you just how much of a place she still has in the ring. And despite my own history with her, so am I. Tell Molly, I'll happily ruin another one of her nights, anytime she wants. I'll let her know, and we'll see. Molly's a lot tougher when she knows you're coming. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from New York, Jean Grey! From Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly!
tonight, I proved a point about who still has a place in WWE. Ever since I stepped foot here, I've been bombarded with endless praise for the so-called legends. We love them, we adore them, we hold banquets in their honor. <laughs> but at some point, every banquet has to end. And yet, there are some legends here in WWE who refuse to get up from the table. They finished their meal, had some dessert, polished off a cup of coffee or two, even paid the bill. Do they care that others are waiting for their chance to sit down? Do they care that the staff wants to leave? No, they just sit there, blissfully unaware of everything going on around them. These rotten relics don't even know! Ah.